Gracious Heavenly Father, frees us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn children of God and made members of the church, the body of Christ. And so living with Christ and in the communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. We present brand new shelter, Sovander, <laughs> for baptism. Amen. <laughs> Back to Julie, called by the Holy Spirit. Trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your child baptized into Christ? If so, say, I do. And as you bring her to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with some special responsibilities. To live with her among God's faithful people. To bring her to the Word of God in the Holy Supper. To teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. To place in their hands the Holy Scriptures. To nurture her in faith and prayer so that she may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others in the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help Brady grow in the Christian faith and life? And so say I do. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture Brady in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit to help her live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? If so say I do. I ask the congregation to please stand as they are able, as I ask you today, as gathered people of Luke Richard to Pope, do you promise to support Brayden and pray for her and her new life in Christ? If so, say we do. We, we do. do. Now I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, say I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? If so, say, I renounce them. I Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? If so, say, I renounce them. I Do you believe in God the Father? I believe, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He descended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of life, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. And through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. And at the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection you set us free from the power of sin and death and raised us up to live in you. And so now pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who is washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Congregation may be seated. Braden Shelby, Bowden Bender Baptist, and I baptize you in the name of the God who has created you, in the name of the Son who has redeemed you. In the name of the Holy Spirit who has called and made you holy. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> we all live in our baptisms each and every day. Here. <laughs> Thanks, O oh God, that through the water and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleansing them from sin and raising them to eternal life. Sustain
same grade with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Great and child of God, you get sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit, and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Jesus said to the disciples and to all of us, Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming word to all the world. And as gifts from this congregation, we talk about baptism as being clothed with Christ. So we have a beautiful napkin that is made for Brady and her baptism as a remembrance of this day. And then you made some important promises, and one of those is to open God's word to her. And so the congregation gives to you a Spark Children's Story Bible to start reading stories of Jesus. <coughs> Great and I would like to present to Lutheran Church of Hope, the newest member of God's kingdom, great and Shelby Bodenbender Bassman, child of God, <laughs> who today has received the promise, the promise of eternal life, of the eternal forgiveness life and presence of God, she has a Savior now that walks with her each and every day of her life until the day God calls her home. What a beautiful and precious child of God. 